Hi, I'm Alan Stewart and this is the Great British Chef Signature Series. I love using whole vegetables, it's almost like cooking a piece of meat. It's a different way of thinking about food. For us, the vegetable is king. We really try and represent exactly what's going on outside our windows here. It's a pleasure and a joy as a cook to be able to use natural methods, natural environments, amazing natural produce. So we're going to make today coal baked onions with labneh, fresh peas, broad beans, beautiful chard from the gardens, some chopped pistachio, some tarragon, a little bit of lemon. Um, it's a really simple dish but I love it because it shows off a very humble vegetable as the star of the show and I think that's a really special thing. We're incredibly lucky here to have these beautiful fresh Brittany onions that we pick straight out of the ground in the morning. But if you can't find those, you can use a lovely simple red onion. Um, it will work exactly the same. I'm lucky that I have an amazing gardening team here who grow this beautiful produce. So we're going to go with the fresh onion today. We're going to serve the, um, the onion with some labneh. Labneh is a, a strained Middle Eastern style yogurt. Quite easy to make, uh, no real hassle. Just need to think about it the day before, but you can make it and in advance and keep it for a couple of days. What you're gonna need is some yogurt. Here I've got about 300 grams. We're gonna add into that 2% salt. So for 300 grams, 2%, six grams. Great. And then 10 mils of olive oil. And here we've got a piece of cheesecloth. We're just gonna spoon our yoghurt mixture into our cheesecloth and then we're going to pull the corners of our cloth together take a piece of string tie it up like that and then we're going to hang that overnight in the fridge to let all the liquid drain out the next morning you're going to have this beautiful thick rich seasoned labne yoghurt I made this one last night so we've got one ready prepared one fresh onion and what you want is the coals in the barbecue those white hot coals don't peel it don't Cut it, don't take the root off, just take the top off and drop it straight into your coals. While that's happening, you're going to take some beautiful pistachios, that amazing green colour, into the oven. 10 minutes, 170 degrees, should be perfect. Most nuts, a toaster, 10 minutes, 170 degrees, seems to work for me every time, so we'll just go with that. So we're just going to turn the onion. What, can you see how the, the juice is starting to come out of the top? We're cooking the onion all the way through our, the outside, we're really, look at that, completely charcoal burn. We're just going to keep turning it like that. We're going to take the pistachios out of the oven. And that wonderful aroma of toasting nuts as the oils have started to come out of the nuts and it really hits you when you open the oven. It's so important that you activate those oils and flavours in nuts. You can't just take a nut straight out of the packet and serve it. I think you really need to give it a toast or even a blanche, or you can even soak them overnight in water. It gives it such a much richer, rounder flavour than just a, a raw nut. I love this time of year because you've got such an amazing selection of beautiful produce that you don't really need to do very much to. Beautiful fresh peas straight out of the gardens. I picked all of this myself this morning. So we're just going to pod the peas straight into the bowl. You can do this dish with, with any peas. You could do it with sugar slaps and chop them up or you could use some French beans. I'm not going to prescribe to people that they have to serve exactly this pea or exactly this broad bean. I'm going to say get out and look at, look at your ingredients. Look at what's best at the moment if you're growing them at home. That's great, but if not, get out to your greengrocers. Go and see your local little suppliers who can tell you I got these fantastic peas from, from wherever they'd come from that morning and they're lovely and beautiful and sweet. I feel that like that connection's been lost in food in the UK for quite a long time and supermarkets, you just go in and pick up the nearest thing on the shelf. But actually going out and talking to the people who spend every day around this produce can get you amazing ingredients. Broad beans are a funny one because if they're lovely and young and small, like these ones here, you can eat them just right, you can eat them raw. When they start to get a bit bigger and more mature and developed on the plants, it's probably a, a necessity to branch them once like that and then remove this outside shell so you've got the little lovely green inside. If you're growing them yourself, try and choose the, the younger looking pods. These, I'll show you an example, this sort of bigger broad bean pod, you can get much bigger beans in it and those ones you'd have to kind of cook twice and then make sure you're peeling them down. Peas and broad beans, we're gonna blanch them off in boiling water we just need to bring a pan of salted water to the boil. Our onion now is really getting towards that point. It's lovely and black, almost puffing out as you squeeze it. And it's starting to get soft and yielding on the inside. Just going to leave it another couple of minutes. We're going to make up before we cook them, just a little in the bowl here. We're going to put some olive oil. After we cook them, we want to put them into a dressing straight away. So we're going to serve them pretty soon after that. We're just going to zest in some zest of lemon and 
a little lemon juice, just a squeeze of about half a lemon, big pinch of sea salt. So, to cook the vegetables, we're going to use a big pan and we're going to cook them all together. The rainbow child comes from the gardens here on this date, literally just down there. My job is to show off all their hard work as someone who can create this beautiful produce. First of all, we're going to dip the stalks into the water. They're going to take a little bit more cooking than the rest of it. So we're going to let them sit in the water. Our onion now, and you see how coming out of the bottom, it started to split and there's a little bit of juice coming out and it's really blackened on the outside. Perfect. We're not going to need to cook it any more than that, but what we want to do is we to keep cooking a little bit while we're waiting for everything else. We're just going to wrap it in some tin foil and that's going to keep the heat in and it's going to keep the inside of the onion cooking. Sometimes I remember restaurants I used to work in as a young chef and we used to do this to, to steak when you were resting it. You'd keep it in the tin foil to keep the heat in there. It's going to close it up, put it to one side, leave it for five to ten minutes. The chard is now the stalks have started to cook. First up, just drop your beans into the same pot. The boiled beans will take a little bit longer than a piece, so we're thinking about how we're cooking things. And then hopefully they'll all come out exactly the same time, they'll all be cooked together. Our toasted pistachios, a nice big handful, and just roughly chop them through. Our peas into the pot, and peas at this time of year, so fresh, so young, they're literally going to take 30 seconds, same as the chard leaves, so we're just going to drop the leaves now into the pan, bring everything to the boil, so give it a good stir into your lemon juice dressing. On a couple of sprigs of fresh tarragon, we're going to just strip the leaves off the outside. You don't want a big, tough, unedible piece, but the small, fine bits of stalk, absolutely fine. If you line all your leaves up with tarragon in one direction and then just chop it through, that's all you need to do. You don't need to mince it or mash it up anyway, just chop it through in one direction. Lovely. Ready to plate. We're going to peel off our onion, so we open up the tin foil. And all we want to do is really peel off the whole burnt outside. Be very careful, you can use a tea towel if you want, but removing all of that black outside of the onion. A little bit of char on there is absolutely fine, but you can see how it's starting to go a little brown, it's starting to get all those sugars developing inside. I'd suggest with the red onion, you need to cook it a little bit longer. You can keep, wrap that in a foil and put it in the oven for 10 minutes at 180, and you'll get that lovely sweetness that you can get out of onion when you really cook it. So we'll come and dress our dish. The labna, this overnight seasoned yogurt, first thing on the plate. Nice big spoon in the middle of the plate. Just going to push it down with the back of your spoon. And then we're going to start to spread it out into a, a nice round shape. I really want, when you take a bite of this dish, I want you to be able to take a bite of everything. It's not sort of separate elements, it's everything together. It's a, a dish that works in harmony. Then we're going to take a knife and our onion, trim off the very top. And we're going to cut it into Make sure the little root is just, just the root bits removed. And then you can see all the lovely juice coming out of the inside. It's going to cut it straight down the middle, but don't go all the way through, okay? We're going to fan this out. And we're going to cut it into six, a bit like a pizza. Place that in the middle of your plate, showing off all those layers. Such a beautiful vegetable with all its different layers, so intricate in the way that it was designed. And then around the outside, we're going to pick out of our dressing here a little bit of colour. Our lovely green chard leaves, these beautiful stalks overlapping, twisting round it, enveloping it in a big springtime hug. Finally, to finish off, our peas, young broad beans, just spooned all over the top. There are chopped toasted pistachios, fresh tarragon. Always add the herb right at the end, last minute, because it starts to hit the, the, the herb starts to cook and those aromas of rich tarragon get released. And when you put it down in someone, they'll smell the onion, the tarragon, and all those flavours melting together. This is our baked Brittany onion, Swiss chard, labna, peas and beans.